Nine-year-old Azadine Mir'i has been asking about his bicycle since the early hours of the morning. With the help of a friend, he managed to find what's left of it. The Mir'i family says the only thing they're left with now is the memories of 25 years after Israeli forces blew up their house early on Tuesday. The Israeli military arrested Yahya Mir'i and his cousin Yusuf Asi in late April. Both men are in their early 20s, and the Israeli military accuses them of killing a guard of an illegal Israeli settlement in the occupied West Bank. After their arrest, the family was expecting the house to be demolished, so they took out some of their belongings. What they couldn't prepare for is to see their house in ruins. I wanted to take my books, clothes and toys, but they didn't let me. Israel has long implemented a policy of demolishing houses belonging to Palestinian suspects accused of killing Israelis. My son is a hero. It wasn't easy for him to see what the occupation did. During Ramadan, the events in Al-Aqsa particularly affected him. Earlier on Tuesday, Israeli forces demolished the house of Yusuf Asi as well. Homeless now, the Asi family are staying with relatives. The Israeli decision is that we can't rebuild here for 5 to 15 years. This land is confiscated. I have a plot here for Yusuf will build on. For now, we are scattered in relatives' homes. The Israeli government says house demolitions are meant to prevent future attacks. But human rights organizations say since Palestinian attackers are often killed or imprisoned, it's their families who end up being punished. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank.